Hi friends. This is not my normal type of uh, experiments that I like to mess with, but I happened to see this on uh, YouTube on another fellow site and I thought it was very interesting. Take a piece of galvanized and uh, pipe, metal, in this case angle iron, drive it in the ground a foot or two, and I've got a piece of telephone wire run uh, from it, mainly so I can connect the two. I don't know if you can see it very well. I uh, can't even see it in the camera. But anyway, you step off, in this case about 60 feet, and according to things, other things I've read on other websites, if there's trees in between, you get better uh, current flow. But anyway, it's called an earth battery. In uh, researching it, I found out that over half of the telegraphs in the United States and Europe in the mid-1800s ran off of earth batteries and they were capable of sending messages anywhere from three to four hundred miles uh, anyway it's called an earth battery and uh, I stuck a piece of half inch copper pipe in the ground here oh by the way they're running north and south and with the copper north and the uh, galvanized south and the copper is driven down just a little deeper actually copper is driven down about two two and a half feet deep it was a five foot where is it can't find that sucker. There it is. <laughs> anyway, uh, just so you'll know what's going on, I took this the, the wire itself. Where is it? I can't find that sucker. There we go. There we go. I've got it, the wire is not actually connected to the copper pipe. I've just got it around, wrapped around it so I can pull on it and uh, get it tight to keep it up off the ground. The actual bare end is right here and that's where it's tied into the negative end which comes from the from the galvanized and then of course right here I can't find anything in this thing here we go here we go then my positive lead is t uh, touching the copper and right now as you can see we're producing 1.016 volts and if you look at the little V to the right you can see it's actually it's volt it's full voltage this is amazing last night it was up to uh, 1.020 and uh, earlier today I've, I've said it run it's run for almost 24 full hours now first started off at about uh, 0.79 slowly over about a two-hour period built up to 1.020 and has maintained it for the past 24 hours you can see it jumps every once in a while, so I'm, I'm expecting it to go all the way up to uh, the uh, 0.20 eventually. The uh, it went down when I tested the amperage on it. The amperage is, is really low, really low. It's uh, like 0.25 uh, milliamps. So anyway, I thought it was kind of interesting, and uh, somebody was saying something on one of the one or two of the internet sites about. Uh, the possibility of uh, setting it up in, in series, uh, jumping the voltage up. It seems like they had to have done something because they were running all, uh, well not all, over half of the uh, telegraphs in the United States were running on uh, earth batteries such as this. So they had to have a lot more voltage than that, especially to push a, me push a message uh, 300 to 400 miles. Now, anybody knows that DC current will not travel more than 12 to 15 miles. Now I read on another air, uh, website where, or two or three websites where the current that's actually being produced by the earth is alternating current and alternates at approximately six hertz, which is one tenth of what we use here in the United States. We use a 60 hertz. I'm not an electrician or uh, electronics engineer or anything like that. I don't know a very, whole lot about electronics. I just thought this was kind of interesting and uh, well, let's show a few people and see what y'all think. Okay, have fun.